Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to this video for the Free Motion Quilting Project. Today, I want to hop back on my quilting machine, my Janome Horizon, and stitch out another new design. And this one I'm calling Little Tongues, which might not be a name that you really like, but I think it's really the best description for what this design looks like. So let's get on the machine and get started. This design starts with a very simple base. We're just going to stitch a straight line straight up into our quilting space. And then I'm going to travel stitch along the edge of my quilting space and swing around with an echo. This is an echoing design, so I'm going to travel stitch again and swing around with another echo. And you can do this as many times as you like until that shape, that particular little tongue, is as big as you like it. You can swing around with one echo, you could swing around with ten. It's really entirely up to you. But that is the basic shape. So now I'm going to travel stitch. I think that's big enough for me. And I'm going to stitch a straight line off in this direction. Travel stitch along the edge and swing around and down with my echo. Travel stitch again and swing around again. You can see how this will start to build. The more echoes you do, the more rings around it that you do, the more uh, space it's going to take up on the surface of your quilt. So if you're wanting to work through a space really quickly, if you're wanting to, to expand and let's say cover and fill an entire space in a block, just keep adding rings. Just keep making it bigger and bigger and it'll fill that space completely with only one little segment, one little, little tongue, uh, and it'll fill that space completely. Uh, if you want more variety, uh, if you want a lot more texture, keep your echoes uh, smaller, closer together, and fewer, and you're going to have a lot more of that uh, kind of texture coming through. It's really just depending on what you're wanting, and it's one of those designs that you really want to experiment with. Try it one way, then kind of try it slightly different. Try it with 10 echoes in one square, and then try it with one echo and all the rest. And let me kind of show you what I mean by that. I'm going to swing around and build this up one more time and then I'm going to stitch one right here and let's build this one up with as many echoes as I can fit in the space and I'll show you kind of the difference of how this texture is going to look two different ways. So I stitch my straight line and travel stitch back. Now I travel stitch and echo it around. Travel stitch just a little bit again. And you know I'm working on about an eighth of an inch scale. You absolutely do not have to stitch this tight. I just like the effect of the texture when the lines of quilting are this close together, but you can absolutely expand this design on the surface of your quilt. You can make it a lot bigger just by making those echoes a little further apart. So you can see I'm just bouncing from one side to the other, swinging around with more and more echoes, expanding this one little shape until it's no longer little, it's actually quite big. Now, if you were to use this, like let's say I wanted to put the square in a quilt, this one shape that I've just finished up stitching is actually going to stand out quite a bit against all the other ones because I've expanded it so many times on the surface. And now let me show you, since we see this big giant one, let's show you some smaller ones. I'm going to stitch the same length of line but I'm only going to travel stitch and echo this one time. Stitch another straight line out, travel stitch, and echo. Let's actually echo that one again just to fill up this little weird space. And the best way to fill up that little weird space, just stitch some parallel straight lines through that area, and that's going to be perfect. Travel stitch along the edge and swing down and around. Add a few more in here so you can really get the idea of how different these two are. And the only difference is just the number of echoes they have. Travel stitch around this way. Now this one, this is kind of a funny problem that I, I sometimes run myself into. I have started to stitch an echo, but I have nothing to hit up against on this side. Nothing over here. 
So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring my line out, and this is kind of one of those things that you sometimes have to think about, and bring it down. I'm pretending that there's an echo there, essentially. So you can see where I'm at right now, and I've kind of built up that space. I have this little pocket here I'm going to stitch back into and fill, but really I need to find something that I can hit against to stop this from basically continuing all the way down to this side of my piece. That wouldn't look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, and I'm going to pretend that there's a little tongue right here that I'm swinging around to echo. And I can just make them up right there. So sometimes if you accidentally start an echo in a place where you don't have anything to base it off of on the opposite side, you can always kind of fake it in that way. And it'll end up working out just fine. So I hope that that makes sense. I'm going to swing around one more time and then we can look at the difference of texture between this little patch and the one next to it. So you can see all these little guys are right here and they have kind of that nice more chaotic texture, more like you know, kind of a, a stack of candy or something like that. And then this guy is expanded a lot bigger. He's almost like a rainbow. So it's really the difference in texture. Are you looking for something more like this or are you looking for something more like this? It's entirely up to you. I absolutely love designs like this because they're so much fun to just play with. Play with one little thing about them and you're going to come up with two very, very different effects. Which way is the right way for you? Well, you don't know until you go and stitch it. So definitely get on your machine and give this design a try today. My name is Leah Day and this has been a video for the Free Motion Quilting Project. Find hundreds of videos on stitching out new free motion quilting designs all for free at freemotionproject.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.